Hey, come here. What's the matter? Nothing. Go on back over here. No. Why not? Just because. I don't have to have a reason. Maybe I want to sit and watch the ducks for a while. <laughs> hey, ducks don't swim at night. Their head lies short circuit in the water. Come on. Give me a kiss. Not here. Oh, I see. All of a sudden, the car's not good enough anymore. Is that no, it? No, that... Well, look, I, I can't afford another motel room. We've spent all my money. On beer. Well, you were happy enough to drink your share. I just don't like it here. I don't feel right. Could we at least put the top up? Do I ever deny you anything? Mm -hmm. Go somewhere else, somewhere more private. Why? The campus cops know not to bother any car with the school sticker on it. I mean, they'd rather have us parking on campus than on some deserted road. <laughs> I'm out with you, aren't I? Yeah, but you've been out with lots of girls, and you didn't love all of them. Oh, well, that was different. Yeah, but do you love me? Of course I do. something. Yeah, it was me breathing in your ear. No, really, I heard something. What? Well, it's the ducks. Sometimes they like to come up and terrorize the people parking around here. You're obnoxious. There's not another girl on earth who would put up with your garbage. Give me another kiss. <laughs> Did you feel that? The car moved. Someone's out there. Yeah, yeah, it's probably some of the guys on the team. They're just jealous of their quarterback. Wise guy around here. Just ignore them. Let them find their own girl. All right, cut it out. Leave us alone. Can't we go someplace else, please? No, I'm not going to be scared off by a bunch of frustrated jocks. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll get out and beat some manners into no, them. No, no, don't do that. It won't solve anything. Take me someplace else, and I'll make it up to you. I'll make you glad you did. That. Ah! All right, that's it. What the hell? We're out of here.
I mean, I really was going to read the last two chapters, but long call old minion, and he is so sexy. I know what you mean. <laughs> Gary was going to help me study last night. Well, we got to talking, and then we kind of got a little sidetracked. <laughs> and then the first thing you know, it's morning. Yeah. Anything to wear, so I had to borrow this from Kathy. I hate history anyway. It's so boring. Hi. Oh, hi. You ready for this? Oh, I guess. Are you? Oh, hardly. I only know about half of it, and that's the easy half. I mean, what do I have to take chemistry for anyway? I'm going into advertising. Yeah, I know. Well, that is a problem with education. They do keep trying to teach you all that stuff. Yeah, like chemistry. I hate chemistry. I mean, chemistry hates me. It's that simple. Oh, come on, it's really not that bad. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. But I have to make an 82 on this exam to pass the course. And if I don't pass the course, my parents stop making the payments on my car. I mean, this is serious. An 82, or else I have to walk. This is war. Well, you can't just give up. You have to oh, try to Oh, just stop before you tell me that quitters never win. I mean, I do not want to hear that. Because I'm a winner. Not to worry. Hey, guys, wait up. Did you hear what happened at March College? Hi, Radish. Hi. Oh, what happened at March College? Another football recruiting scandal? No, better. A mass murderer. Two kids were snuffed while parking at the lake. Oh, how horrible. I know. Oh, That's you awful. call that a mass murderer? Two lousy people? <laughs> I call that a piker. Well, it's a small school. You have to enter that into the equation. And it was particularly brutal. A real spectacle, at least on a local scale. Sure, it's nothing in a big city, but in a rural area, you have to take what you can get. You two are so morbid. Oh, you're beyond that. And now. to top it all off, the guy was their first string quarterback. You know, I think now that we... Now you're talking. You know, we might be able to take him this year. Yeah. Remember me telling you about those students that got it up in Vermont? I don't want to. This could be the same guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, let's change the subject to something a little less drastic. Well, like the test. Now, personally, I'd like to talk about something cheery, like, like homicidal maniacs. Anything but chemistry. You're kidding. This is real crip stuff. Chemistry for morons. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of morons. <laughs> Don't be late, Braino. Please take a seat in every other row. Leave an empty desk between you. I don't want anyone sharing your answers with you. I get enough long answers without a lot of unnecessary duplication. Oh, uh, what do you care? You don't even grade in yourself anyway. It's a moral responsibility I have for you, my friend. After the examination, I'll explain the term morality to you. Well, never mind. Well, I'd love to go on talking like this. But I must warn you, your quiz isn't getting any shorter, and your examination period is. Then let us add it to me. I should remind you, you're on the modified honor system. I'll be leaving the room, and the grading assistants will be watching you. And uh, they are both frustrated Nazis. And if they observe any cheating, they have been instructed to alert a highly skilled sniper that I've placed in McWilliams Tower. He was a gun bearer for the Eagle Scout down in Texas. You mean Charles Whitman. One of my favorites. And he's anxious to bag a few students on his own. Are there any questions? He was a real craftsman, an excellent shot. And he played it out to the bitter end. This guy was dropping people from blocks. I hate to interrupt you on such a lovely note. <laughs> but back to business. Hey, this ain't the test I've been studying. <laughs> well, if you're going to buy tests, you might as well buy them from somebody who's in the know. Now, I'm perfectly willing to be bought if the price is right. Good luck. Oh, and don't worry. I took the test, and I only missed three. <laughs> Have a nice holiday. And uh, I'll be seeing many of you back here next semester in uh, remedial chemistry. 
All right, everybody settle down and get to work. I think you've got enough problems there in front of you without having to worry about running out of time. When you finish, give your paper to one of us, and then you may leave quietly. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Ready to end the semester? Yeah, I've just about OD'd on the small town life. I'm really ready to party with the bright lights for a while. Yeah, I remember when I wanted that, too. And a booze boogie and then keep your cuts up. <laughs> that's fun. I'm not so sure you're too much beyond that now. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone said to me in a long time. Now, these kids think they hate taking chemistry. Yeah, at least it's new to them. For me, it's the same old thing, year in, year out. And then if I do get them to understand, then they graduate and I have to start all over again. Then why don't you leave? Because I love the sweet young girls that throw themselves at me. <laughs> why pull down the shades? There's nobody left on campus that we're fooling. You don't think I can kiss and tell, do you? No. <laughs> but I do. I don't care who knows around here. But if that red-headed wife of mine ever finds out, I'm dead. So? How about a little nightcap tonight? Oh, I don't know. It's your last chance for some nice, firm flesh for a while. I leave in the morning for the big city, and you're going to be left with nothing but that sagging old wife of yours. She must be almost 30 by now. Hey, wait a minute. You're talking about the woman that I... Oh. Well, the mother of my guppies. Mm -hmm. And you love it. So, it's uh, tonight. Well, who knows when, hotshot? How about here? And now? Mm -mm. Sorry. This is final examination week. Pop quizzes just won't do. Tonight, meet me in my rehearsal room. And we'll go upstairs to the art studio. <laughs> Art in the dark can be very tactile. Yeah, I like it. Uh, a study in form and mm. texture. <laughs> Like an ape, please. days you are going to get yours. Uh-uh. You see, I'll be ready. That's why I'm the teacher and you're just a student. I cut you. Hey, Radish, when you going to do your equipment inventory? You know, we've got a lot of our good stuff checked out and that can come back in yet. Well, I was planning... Well, you see, we don't get much in the way athletes around here. And I got to take a little pride in something. You don't think some of the guys are sneaking off to try and get in shape, do you? They're not stealing the weights and running the tracks at night like they could be. But now, if everybody did that, see, I wouldn't have no job. Wouldn't be nobody around here for me to holler at. Oh, look, Coach, I got to go. I'll talk to you later. I'll get on that inventory, Coach, right away. I got one more exam, but it's under control. See you later. Two look 
like you're never coming back. Well, it really depends on our grades. You never know. saw that the van had a gamma fraternity <laughs> sticker on the back window. <laughs> oh. Looks the least dangerous today. Me either. You know, I've never seen this place so empty before. I wonder if everybody else knows something that we don't. Yeah, they know better than to have exams on the last day. <laughs> Everybody's gone home. I can't wait. One lousy recital and I'm off too. Can't wait to see some new faces. Eat in a real restaurant. Hear some live music. You want to sit here? Uh-oh, look who's coming. Hello, gorgeous. I think this one's for you. Say, did you girls go to the shooting today? Very funny. Were you responsible for that little display outside? You're the leader of all that rabble. Not me. I was at the chemistry test, remember? Uh-huh. The perfect alibi. Oh. Say, uh, by the way, when are we going on that midnight ride? <laughs> well, hey, big boy. How about never? <laughs> well, everyone likes to ride in my car, but what's the matter with you? Not a thing. Well, hi, Janet. For me, it's not my first time in a fast car. I can't believe y'all did that this afternoon. 
No wonder the Gamma House is always on probation. Hello, Pledge. Hello, sir. You know, I've been looking for you. There's some uh, special duties that need to be assigned. <laughs> I'm really up against the wall on the Mars psych exam. We can do it later, can't we? Are you refusing the small request of a brother? No, sir. Did I hear you right, Pledge? Let's step outside. He probably needs his car wax. <laughs> well, I hope they don't bother Gary. He's very sensitive. When are you going to realize you don't have to fall in love with somebody just to get a kiss? So, uh, the, uh, prank went really well, huh? Sure, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it worked out really well, didn't it? Absolutely. Right on schedule. Uh, you know, it was a great idea, sir. Not only a great idea. It was a great diversion, man. I made my 82. <laughs> great diversion. You know something? I've, I've got another great idea. You might be ready for the big league. Initiation. No, well, not... Well, I'm proud to be a Gamma <laughs> Pledge, sir. I mean, we're the best on campus. Well, that's what I like to hear. Look, each semester, one pledge is chosen to perform this solemn duty. Yeah? And this semester, you've been chosen, Pledge. That's good, isn't it? Is it good? It's excellent. Look, I want you to break into Dr. Mayhern's office and steal tomorrow's test for me. <sighs> you, you, you've got to be kidding me, right? No. I mean, I'm not crazy, sir. I could get kicked out of school for doing that. We all do it, Pledge. We've done it. But this time, it's your turn. I, I can't do that, sir. Hey, Gammas! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> yeah, we were great, weren't we? Uh, oh, wild man. Uh, We've got a little problem. This pledge doesn't want to steal the exam for us. To oh! Does he want his brothers to have to study? It's not that wild, man. Pledge, pledge, pledge. I want that test by 9 o'clock tonight. All you have to do is jump over the door, and you're out in 30 seconds. I don't know if it's going to oh, be that easy. Oh, pledge, listen, listen. You think about it, and I think you're going to find out that it's real easy. I should have had a salad instead of this spaghetti. Well, why didn't you? Hi. Hi. Well? What? What did he want? It's fraternity business. I can't tell you. Another secret? I hate all these silly secrets. I know you do, Janet, but it's a lot of fun. Well, do you think it's much fun for me to sit here and eat lunch without you? <laughs> no, of course not. Well, it isn't like it's the first time, Gary. Yeah, I know, and I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh-uh, time to go. You want to hear a secret? What? I don't want to tell you in here in front of all these people, silly. Well, I got to go study. I'll see you guys later.
Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's okay. was a shoot. A multiple shooting at that. And we better find a multiple shooting or somebody is going to wish that a multiple shooting was all the troubles he had. Now, who called? There seems to have been a misunderstanding, Sheriff. We've all been the victim of a harmless college prank. <laughs> you call me? We got all our calls on tape, so you might as well admit it. I didn't deny that I called you. I thought it was real. It could have been. I mean, senseless murders are a modern phenomenon. Can I help it if people are crazy? These type of murders happen all the time. Oh, they happen. But not in my county, and not on my supper time. Suppose you tell me about it. Well, uh, a group of masked perpetrators simulated a terrorist-style raid in which several co-conspirators pretended injury or death. It's not my fault. Where'd you learn to talk like that? <laughs> Watching Dragnet. <laughs> Anybody recognize them? Mm. On a car? Oh, yeah. It was a brown van. Fortunately, I got the license number. Well, why didn't you tell me? Let me have that. Hey, Jesse, this is Sheriff Carlin. Listen, you can give me a rundown on a brown van. License number MPM112. Where are you going, Bulldog? I got a exam. It'll wait. Vehicle is registered to John Chandler from Shelby, North Carolina. No outstanding warrants. He's clean, Sheriff. Out. Anybody know a John Chambers? Is that your daddy bulldog? Actually, Sheriff, he didn't kill anybody. I mean, it was, uh, it was just a joke. Well, there's about 50 laws that he did break, one of which was getting me to ride all the way out here for nothing. But I guess I could run this bird in on that one. Well, I'm sure nobody meant any harm. I mean, uh, sometimes <laughs> students just have to let off a little steam. Ah. Uh, Hello uh, there, Quentin. Uh, Get yourself some criminals here. Didn't you hear about that multiple shooting? Did these guys do it? I thought it was pretty funny myself, didn't you? <laughs> Bulldog hound was in on it. But you know, I think I'm going to take them all in. Maybe bust a few heads. Now, nah, Quentin, that don't sound like you. You used to enjoy a good time till you got so full of yourself. That's a little different. But now, I do remember a time when the library caught on fire and somebody hid the fire hose from the fire department. You guys sat around drinking beer all night, chanting. Damn good fire till the blaze burnt <laughs> from the ground. Oh, now, you think that's funny, don't you? When you think that's funny. Well, we'll just see. Because one of these days, you boys are going to be in trouble, and I am going to be there to take you home. See, these boys are looking at a bad end. Bulldog, me and you going to lock horns again one of these days. And when we do, you're going to get one phone call. Don't you lose this dime. Because if you do, ain't nobody ever gonna hear from you again. Hey there, Sheriff. What do you need? Well, everything's under control around here, Sheriff. Now, you know good and well that I'm holding up my end. 
and there's not one bit of crime on this whole campus. Not yet. been drinking, Mitch. Now, you know that I don't hunt with no booze. Well, I don't either. Hey, Coach, when are you going to put away them toys? You know that bow hunting's only for engines and moonshiners. When I get so old and honored, I can't hit nothing except with a scatter gun. I'll give you a call. I got to get to work, boys. <laughs> hey, Coach, you pick me up down here at Moore Hall, and I'm going to clock out that sun up here. We'll see. so bad? No, but once you get out of school, nobody cares what your grades were. The important thing to know is how to get what you want. <laughs> That's what'll help you later on. Not grades. Yeah, but good grades can't hurt. Neither can good times. I'd rather know how to flirt. One thing's for sure, you'll never catch me studying chemistry. <laughs> Not while there's a man teaching it. Watch! Hi! Excuse me, could one of you give me a hand? Sure. <laughs> oh, thanks. I just wanted to carry these down to my car, so I didn't have to do it in the morning. Uh, are you sure you don't mind? No. Easy it is. <laughs> I just don't know what I would have done for that. Hi, Radish. Do you have any aspirin? Sure. I've been reading so long that my brain hurts. What's the matter? Oh, life. It's just not fair. No, but at least it's not fair to everybody. Or is that a paradox? You know, some people have it so much easier. I mean, Lisa. Is it that obvious? It's only logical. You're living with a girl that has a free ride. It looks easy, but she'll pay a price sooner or later. There is no free brunch. I'm not jealous. Well, not the bad kind of jealousy. But it's just so easy for her. I guess that's what I resent. It's natural. Well, I like Lisa. I know. It's not her fault. But I just don't know what I'm going to be able to do when I get out of school. And she can get anything that she wants. OK, OK, she knows how to use what she's got. But, well, you have different qualities. You men have it so easy. You know what you want from the beginning, and you can just go right after and get it. Yeah, right. I want to be on a SWAT team. I 
I sound like a silly girl, don't I? I'm sorry. Thanks for the aspirin. Don't sound silly to me. find out they'll tree him and torture him. He doesn't want to go through that. How romantic. He must really love you. He just doesn't want to be tied to a tree and covered with ice until I can rescue him. <laughs> Personally, I think it might be sexy. But you're not the one covered in ice. Well, come on, let's see it. What? The pin, silly. The thing you're so excited about. He's gonna kill me. Well, are you sure you pinned it on right? Gary did it. He should know how. It's his pin. He pinned it right on my sweater. I'll bet he loved that. Well, that's probably caught in your shirt. He's gotta have that pin for the pledge meetings or he's gonna be in real trouble with the brothers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. I thought it you pin. Right, oh, Gary pinned it. <laughs> Turn around. Where was the sweater when he pinned you? In your lap? It doesn't matter where it was. We're in love. <laughs> Ooh, I think we were a little too hard on her. Swift was the blade of the red men's sword, swinging in the rhythm of a just reward. Short was the edge of the Conference time. Four eyes. Come in, Igor. You know, I'm not believing you called the cops on the mighty house of Gamble. Yeah, giving that dumb sheriff my tag number was not a good idea. Well, I didn't realize. Now I have to kill you. Wild man, you shouldn't perpetrate a crime unless you've considered all the consequences. Oh, don't feel bad. So many great crimes are ruined by tiny slip-ups. I'm talking about death. I'm talking about cold clammy, maggot-infested dirt. Hey, that's enough, wild man. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's go.
Material after all. If he makes it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I did it. Now let me go. I gotta study too, you know. Sir. Uh, sir. You know, I'm afraid it's not gonna be that simple. Now, if you want to be a gambler. And you do, you do. I do, I do. You're going to have to learn how to abide by all the lofty ideals and traditions of our noble brotherhood. Yeah, I know, but I gotta study too, sir. Well, then where's your place? I'm studying. Janet, what's the matter with you? 
Hey, you were so happy this afternoon. I'm still happy. It's just that I'm depressed. Well, then let's hear it. Mm. Well, it's Gary. I'm starting to have doubts. Where you are? Oh, that happens to everyone. It'll work out. Well, it's not that I don't love him. A lot. I've never loved anyone so much since Johnny Rooker in the 10th grade. But it's just never been so serious before. You're just pinned. It's not legal or anything. In fact, it's still a secret. Well, I, I may have gotten a little carried away. I'm afraid a few people already know, too. Even so, it's just a pledge pin. It only means what you and Gary wanted to. Well, then why do they make such a big deal out of it? They harass you to death if they find out. Nobody ever did that in high school. And I went steady with lots of guys. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, I used to think fraternities were so cool. Well, I'll tell you, you tied to a tree and you just went to finish them off right there. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to abuse them. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. pledges, man. We have to go into town and spend money for fun. Oh. <laughs> Pledge. Pledge. Gamma House, test your pills. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can get them. Yeah, but I've got to tell you that during during final exams, the prices rise with demand. Okay, we'll see you in an hour. <laughs> you know where we can get any speed? Oh, no. I only use that stuff. It keeps me awake. I know that, dummy. I mean, some people do study. We're out of pills. Nobody has any pills anymore. You realize we could make a killing? Well, you know, I believe in studying the old-fashioned way. Stolen tests. <laughs> Look, if we can find tests, we can find the pills. Don't they have any pills in the coach's training room? No, no, no. Those are pain pills. <laughs> those didn't help me study. Well, who cares? And if they give you a buzz, so much the better. Look, you can get them. Don't you have a key? Yeah, I got a key to the weight room. That's just to work out, though. I can't get into the pills unless I break the door down. You got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They'll know someone broke in. You remember our friend Radish? We still owe him one. Oh, oh. <laughs> the more damage, the better. <laughs> this looks like a job for Wild Man! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just relax. Stop shivering. Relax a little more and you can stop talking to yourself. Janet will be here soon. Oh, please, Janet, will be here soon. That bitch is always late. Janet? Janet, is that you? Janet? Hello? Anybody, can you help me? I'm freezing. Over here. Oh, good, Mitch. Untie me quick, okay? I'm freezing. I can't rightly do that. Huh? Working man just never messes with tradition. What you done been treated there, boy? Yeah, I know. If a man takes a woman, he's got to pay that price. Come on, Mitch. I'll pay you anything. Untie me. <laughs> pay me? With what? Your good looks? <laughs> I can't untie you, but i tell you what we can do. Huh. We can drink a toast to that new warmer new. Oh, good. Ah, you can have yours on the rock. Oh. <laughs> you old fart. Janet McCordell! Janet, they treat Gary! Why didn't you ever pledge? I mean, I'm sure you could have. Well, of course I could have. But I just don't like their hazing and all. Oh, yeah. But it's not always so bad. Okay, maybe not always. But last year, a girl killed herself because a sorority wouldn't accept her. Oh, how awful. 
Beautiful. Which sorority? She jumped from the top of McWilliams Tower, six floors. Well, I bet it made them feel terrible. That's the point, Janet. It doesn't matter how bad they felt. It wasn't worth it. Are you going to leave him out there all night? Well, it's his silly old fraternity. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I still love him. Good for you. Go get him. Oh, good. You want to come too, Courtney? Sure, I can go No, that. no, really. I, I want to do this by myself. I want to make it up to him for going through all this. Sure. Just be gentle. <laughs> so what are you playing? Solitaire. Oh, good. Elizabeth. Hello? Is anybody there? Can you help me? Come on, whoever you are, give me a break. Is that you, Mark? Wild man, don't you ever give up? What am I supposed to think? Into the Gamma Goblins? Janet! Terrific! That's right, get me out first and kiss me later. Hurry! Got the other rope! How did you get away? Gary! What's the matter? That is you, isn't it? Gary? Oh! 
go to your dorm and I'll go find Wild Man and I'll bring you the pills personally, okay? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you drinking? I always drink Irish whiskey at the end of the term. <laughs> Would you care to join me in the celebration? Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. How can you drink that? Don't you ever lock your door? What could happen to me? Famous last words. Why are you so apprehensive? When are you going to realize that the whole world isn't made of psychopaths skulking about? But they are out there. They do exist. People are killed every day for no reason at all. Perfect strangers wake up in the morning and decide, hmm. I think it's a good day to snuff somebody. And there are people who eat in our restaurants with us, use our highways, 
and vote for the president, which probably explains something about him, too. I'm not paranoid. I'm just facing unhappy facts. So will you please stop it? Because I don't think it's cute like some people might. Sorry. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Everybody's gone home. It just feels creepy. I apologize. It's okay. Where's Lisa? Oh, out. Working on our organic chemistry, I suppose. Well, just like I told you, a pretty face and you can have the world by the tail. She doesn't have to study to make it. She can't lose. Well, I don't have to study to make it either, you know. <laughs> Why is it that you can always make me laugh? Uh, I gotta go do my inventory for the coach. Tonight? Well, sometime. May as well be tonight. I've already mastered everything I need for my exam tomorrow. Being brilliant has its drawbacks. I'm bored with school a real lot. Just like you're bored with the people. I never said that. You didn't have to. Oh. I gotta go. Good luck on your test tomorrow. Thank you. Can I, can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, do me a favor and lock the door. I'll feel better. I'll feel better too. It has been a little spooky lately. Stupid kid. I can't believe you said that. Just me, Mark. <laughs> well, I told him to make it look good.
Aha, Shades of Watergate. Sheriff, please. Sheriff, this is one of the students from Lanier College from this afternoon. There's been another murder at the college. I mean, not another murder, but a murder. And this time it's real. There's a body. No, sir. It's not a joke. This is real. I know I thought the other one... I know I thought the other one was real, but this... This is different. There's a dead body right here. And some other weird things are happening, too. We need help, Sheriff. It's your job. No, sir. I'm not trying to tell you your job. But somebody should. If there's a murderer killing people around campus, you should want to know about it. Look, there's a guy here who is dead. And we could all be in danger. Fine. I'll take charge myself then. Courtney. Charlie? give you art in the dark.
answer his phone. Well, I'm gonna hang your head on my wall. 